like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door To wake up again. Good morning, my friends. Sorry, it's kind of dark. It's actually the lightest it's been probably in the last four or five months um, when I've gone to school. So I'm it's dark, but I'm really excited that it's actually pretty light. Happy Wednesday. It is my second to last Wednesday in the car alone. It's about to get bumpy. I apologize. Good old Massachusetts backcountry roads um it's not really a backcountry road like we live on the lake right now <laughs> it's not really backcountry anyway it is Wednesday morning like I said second to last Wednesday that I'm gonna be by myself we go back full-time in-person learning back to full-time in-person learning on April 5th and today is the 24th so I've got this Wednesday and next Wednesday and then we are back to the grind which I am so stinking excited about I can't even tell you for a number of reasons um, number one for my own family I am so happy because I'm ready for home to be home and school to be school and they're not to be like a blend of the two um, we have made it work for you know since September really since March of last year we were doing you know online learning but sorry I was sneezing Everything here is coming back to life and waking up. It has been the most beautiful past few days. It has been in the 60s. Yesterday it hit 70, which from what I hear, it's rather early. It's like 10 degrees warmer than it normally is this time of year. So I'm just really thankful. <laughs> I'm ready for the snow to be gone. I love the snow. There's a season for everything and I'm ready for the next season. That's why I think I like the transition so much. It's just so exciting, like something new. You know what I mean? So anyway, so yeah, I'm really excited to be back to school in two weeks for my own family, for my students, for the mental health and well-being of everybody involved. So it's gonna be good. Are you guys going back to school or have you been in school or will you be in school? Danny and I are fully vaccinated. We got our first vaccine in January, our second vaccine in February because we work with really high need students um, and we're in close proximity with our students all the time. Like you just can't keep your distance in our positions. Um, we were able to get our vaccine right away. We're really blessed in that sense. Um, my in-laws both got their second vaccine yesterday, so they're fully vaccinated. Um, so I feel really good, you know, and we've been able to follow the CDC guidelines really well at school. Um, I'm in a tiny district, like my school has less than 300 students, my building alone. My daughter's building has like less than 250, I don't know, maybe a little over 200, but obviously there'll be more like come us returning to school, but it's really just a very tiny district, so that's really gonna be helpful. But um, other side note, I am really wanting to get on a fitness bandwagon. Like I gotta lose some weight, y'all. I have put on so many pounds, and I like, I have zero shame. I'm not even gonna lie, I have no problem talking about this. I don't feel vulnerable talking about it at all. I mean, you can't, it's not like it's hidden. Like you can see that I've put on weight, and um, I, it's a lot of it is stress, you know what I mean? Like it's a stressful situation right now. There's nine of us in a house. The stress of the pandemic, the stress of a move, like the stress of everything. And to to handle my stress, I like to eat really delicious food and chocolate covered pretzels and margaritas uh, and chips and salsa. So that's where I'm at and I have put on some pounds and I summer's coming and it's looking like it's gonna be gorgeous and I wanna be on the lake all summer, I wanna go to the beach, like we live right by the beach now. Like I wanna be able to enjoy my summer and not just feel utterly disgusting. I don't care about how I look, it's how I feel, you know what I mean? But I'm not one who's like, I don't like to talk about that kind of stuff. I don't know, I don't want people like asking me or giving me their opinions or telling me what I should be doing. I don't, ooh. Sorry guys, it's like a little craziness right there. But I, fun fact about me, I do not like people all up in my business. I just don't, <laughs> it bothers me. Danny knows, don't ask me a bunch of questions. Don't explain me, don't expect me to explain my plan or what I'm doing. Just know that I have a plan and I think everything through and um, 
you know, just, he goes, how do you want me to support you? I said, just tell me I look skinny all the time. Just tell me you look so skinny today. I said, that's how you can support me. <laughs> Don't ask me questions. Don't do anything else. Just tell me you look so skinny. So that is my plan, you guys. I, I really want to feel good. I don't ever talk about like dieting or how bad my body looks or call myself the F word, you know what I mean? Like in front of my kids because I don't ever want them to have a body complex or like think that their body is not fantastic just the way God made it. But I also believe that God gave me bones and skin and organs and all that good fun stuff that works in a brain that's wonderful. But I'm the one that determines what happens with it, right? He also gave me free will. And that free will is not making the best decisions when it comes to coping skills. So I've got to change my coping skills. I need to become one of those people that like, when they get stressed out, they never eat. Why, why, why can't I be that person? Why does it have to be the other way around where I eat everything in sight? So anyway, now I'm just babbling because I can. And it's like having a friend in the car. I miss having friends. I'm, I'm, I have friends, don't get me wrong. I've definitely made friends. Um, I just don't get to spend as much time with them right now because of the pandemic, but it's fine. I'm going thrifting after school today with um, a couple of my coworkers. We're going to Sally's, AKA Salvation Army. <laughs> that's how my friend Dresden, that's how she calls it. That's what she calls it. She calls it Sally's. I just think it's super cute. So it sounds fancy. Like you're going to Penny's or going to Sally's. So I'll take you along. Hopefully I can find some cool stuff. I'm on the hunt for some furniture to refinish. So we'll see what I can find. But it's about to get real bumpy here in a minute. So I'm going to go because that's going to be one, you know what, to um, edit. So I'll check in with you in a bit. Hi, would you like to try some of our avocado toast? Uh, not today, thank you. What can I get for you? Sure. Can I get a large iced tea uh, with liquid sugar, two lemons, and extra ice? Large iced tea, say that again, I'm sorry. Uh, with extra ice, uh, liquid sugar, and two lemons. Liquid sugar, two lemon, extra ice, okay. That'll do it. All right, just a large iced tea, thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi, I'll Hi. be right with you. How are you today? Hey, how are you, honey? Hanging in there. Awesome. Wishing it was Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Today is actually my Friday. So oh, snap. Well, so. congrats. Thank you. I'll be excited for you and jealous for me. <laughs> Thanks. Likewise. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Have a good one. Too. Okay, so it's like 100 years later. The last time I checked in with you, it was like 7.30 this morning, and I was supposed to vlog at school, but I didn't. I was so crazy busy today. It was unreal. Even though we don't have students, Wednesdays can be some of the most busy days. Um, and then I went by Salvation Army after work with my coworker, which actually worked out because she doesn't get out of work until 3.30. So I stayed a little bit longer, got some work done, but I didn't find a single thing <laughs> at, um, that's a lie. I did find two things. Um, I found my son some like relaxing shorts, my older son, but. You stayed a little bit? I did. You stayed a little bit? So I just got home and this guy's <laughs> playing outside with his dad. What are you doing with daddy? I'm playing soccer and football at the same time. <laughs> soccer and football at the same time. Can can you go show me so I can film you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. That was a good kick. So I'm gonna get my stuff and go inside. I'm gonna try to pack my lunch for tomorrow. Aiden's got youth group tonight, so that's one thing. Michaela's got dance. We're gonna go by the property in just a little bit. It's just time for the second half of the day as usual. How was your day, Danny? Great. Say hi, Danny. Hi, Danny. How are you guys? Okay, I lied to you, so I did pick up one thing. Hi, Bobby. I see you. I did. I picked up these Under Armour shorts for Aiden. And these, what brand are these? I don't know. Layer 8. 
just like lounge shorts for Aiden. And then I also grabbed this tart dish. I forgot that I bought this. $4.99. Nice, good wash, and it'll be perfect. I love, or, you know, quiche dish. Quiche dish, you know. Anyway, still using my water bottle. I gotta go drink some water. I gotta drink the three to five now, but sure is making me have to pee all the friggin' time, which is making things difficult, but it's fine. Keeping me hydrated, right? We're here at the property and spring has clearly sprung. You can hear all the birds everywhere. There's like a little baby woodpecker right there that you can't see. I'm not going to zoom in, but it's really cloudy and foggy. It's supposed to rain tonight, so we're going to head. These look like fresh tracks. I don't see our footprints from last night. <laughs> oh, well, he doesn't know. Oh, I, I might see some footprints. Actually, yep. well, we'll see. It's muddy. All right, we're here. It's hard to tell at this stage if they've done something different. What I will say is that this right here used to be our um, fieldstone little wall that is now gone and I don't know that we'll get it back say hi cake so anyway looks this is full of water this hole right here that you probably can't see and I don't want to go too far in because I have white shoes on it's full of water though so so many birdie sounds. I want to know what all those over there are. Those flags over there. Like one? the ones all the way over by that mound. Oh. And all the way over there. Is that our property that line? Our Maybe that's our property line. The one hanging in the tree is our property line. No, right over here. On this side. And I see that they already have that lot over there has flags. Mm -hmm. They've marked it. Mama yesterday I don't know. That <laughs> they better knock it off. Better not be working on another property over ours. Say hi. Hello, Mike. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that house in the trees right there, but somebody's working in there. I think they're probably putting up cabinets, so it sounds like. But it's hard to tell if anything happened. I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. No. Well, we'll come by tomorrow and see. <laughs> so from this view on our drive, this is our driveway. You can see those three houses. One, two, three. And then there'll be a house on that property right there. There'll be a house right here. And there'll be a house on the other side of this bush. In a way, Mound. they are close like Vegas. No, they're not close but like Vegas at all. Not even a little bit. There'll be a house right there, too. <laughs> Houses in Vegas, you could put your hand out a window and touch the neighbor. It's just a little bit different. What did you do? Oh, boy. Go get in the car, you turkey. This is the property whose um, foundation was poured before ours. So... That's where we're at. All right, we're done looking at the house. Now we're headed off. It's gonna get bumpy for a minute, sorry. But we're headed. I'm gonna go take Aiden, no, drop Michaela off first, a dance. And then I'm gonna go take Aiden to youth group. And while he's at youth group, I'm gonna run to Michael's um, because I need to get bulletin board paper for work. That's what we're doing. Second part of the day now, here we go. I need a nap and a snack. So I'm hungry. And dinner. And dinner. You not have time to go eat all <laughs> You I really want a crunch wrap, yeah. don't you? Yeah, I do. I've I'll, been see, I'll in. see if I can make it happen. Hello, my friends. It is super late and super dark. It's not really super late. It's like 7.30 and I am leaving Marshall's slash Home Goods. I... Aiden has youth group on Wednesday nights 
And so 15 minutes away is the Marshall slash Home Goods um, and Target and lots of other places. And um, I swung by because I needed to get bulletin board paper for my classroom. Then I just ran into Home Goods and I found, so I got some um, things for Easter baskets and then I also grabbed two like frozen pizza pans um, because we had a frozen pizza debacle the other day where it kind of fell through the, the grate. So, um, um, and those are really good to have and they were only $4.99 so I felt like that was a really good steal. And now I am headed to go back and pick up Aiden and Danny will go pick up Michaela. She's done at 8.15. Um, but Aiden's not done until eight, so I won't be able to pick him, her up on time. I know you guys cannot see me. I'm sure it's super blurry, but anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this little random vlog. I'm gonna try really hard to vlog a couple times a week when I can, hang in there. I know you guys will take any video that I put out, which you are so incredibly amazing. I miss you guys. I'm kind of lonely right now. Um, so it's nice to connect with you here and we'll keep this up to the best of my ability. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.